हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस रेफरेंस मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर जुटेरो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वाई डू वी नीड रेफरेंस मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर वाई शुड इन वी साइट आर रिसर्च पेपर्स और रिव्यू आर्टिकल्स मैनुअली बिकॉज इट दी सॉफ्टवेयर आर रिक्वायर्ड लाइक जुटेरो एंड मैंडले because th different journals have different citation styles so in case um, you do it manually and you send it to a particular journal but what if that journal rejects it now you will send it to another journal so but then that another journal will have different referencing style citation style is different for each journal so now again manually you will have to change the entire style so in order to tackle this problem soft uh, these kind of softwares like zotero and mendeley they are very helpful because um, they with the help of these softwares we can easily change the citation style within seconds so this is why it is always wise to use a reference management software for citation rather than doing it manually so the very first step for downloading the software this is a free software and very helpful zotero i'm talking about zotero so this for that we need to click on the google chrome icon then uh, once the uh, once the window opens now we can type zotero.org then we can click enter now within seconds the uh, um, website will open now we can clearly see that uh, download option is available this software is absolutely free and very helpful so i would recommend this software for citations so uh, once we click on download now another uh, window will pop up so it will have two options download and install chrome connector so we will click on download first so uh, after clicking on download we can see that uh, this written thing is appearing in this red circle so that means the download has started meanwhile while the setup is being downloaded we will connect we will uh, um, install chrome connector so which can uh, which can connect zotero with the chrome it is very important to do this then only we will be able to sync the files from computer to the software so now this option will appear add to chrome so the connector will be uh, we will click on it another pop up will appear so uh, we will click on, click on add extension now after clicking on it after some time it will automatically connect we will have to wait for some time because sometimes the connectivity is low so now if we see this um, shaded portion uh, zotero connector has been um, they are clearly showing now the circled one if we will click on this we will find out that the zotero connector is already there that means it has been connected to the chrome browser otherwise you can also do it f uh, with any other browser like firefox and others so this is how we can connect it to the chrome now we will uh, by the time uh, we will check Uh, on we will click on this pc then we will go to the downloads option the, we will see that zotero setup has been downloaded now we will click on the setup we will double click on it because now the installation of the zotero software will start so gradually it is being uh, setting up in our laptop It 
it is still being uh, setting up now this window will pop up so we will click on yes as soon as we will click yes we will get an another pop up now we will click on next now uh, on it is already on standard we will again click on next now the install option will appear so we will click on install now now the zotero is being installed so it doesn't take very long time to install it it will get installed within two three minutes based on the internet connectivity it takes time so we'll have to wait till the time it is being installed once all the soft softwares have been installed now in the end we will get an option finish we will click on it after clicking on, on it uh, the installation is complete now we can see the zotero i shortcut on our desktop now we will click on it so after opening the software this interface will appear this is within the software we can see we have these options quick start guide and everything else now now in order to register myself i i will go to the website again zotero.org then i will click on login after clicking on login we get an option here register for a free account I'll, uh, we can click on it as soon as we will click on it we will get these options so first of all i will set up a use suitable username which I, I can remember easily so i typed my name yogita basnal then i will choose my email id after it so you can also the best thing is we can either use an official email id or or gmail id also but i will use my phd um, email id with which i am registered in my institution so it is yogita6 at s.mat.edu then i will again copy and paste the same email for confirmation now i will type a password choose a password which i can remember easily and then i will again uh, type the password to verify whether it is correct after that the last step is i will click on i'm not a robot and then finally i will click on register so now i got i got this message thanks for registering we have sent an email to activate your account now i will go to my student id on outlook so my credentials are already saved here so i will simply log into my account phd students account so i will see uh, that the uh, the website the zotero has sent an email for confirmation this is a confirmation email from zotero um i'll open the email so there will be a link basically uh, if the link is either clickable otherwise if it's not clickable then we can simply copy the link and paste it to our browser after copying it and pasting it the link sent by the zotero we will i will click on enter after clicking on enter i will get a message 
सक्सेस यू रजिस्टर्ड योर जोटैरो अकाउंट दैट मीन्स नाउ आम रजिस्टर्ड इन जोटैरो सो सिंस आई गॉट दिस ई मेल वैलिडेशन फ्रॉम जोटैरो नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो चेक वेदर द जोटैरो हैज़ बिन लिंक्ड टू अर एम एस वर्ल्ड डॉक्यूमेंट और नॉट फॉर दैट वी कैन गो टू एनी एनी एम एस वर्ल्ड डॉक्यूमेंट सो आल क्लिक ऑन दिस बुक चैप्टर विच आई हैव रिसेंटली रिटर्न सो इन ऑर्डर टू चेक वेदर द जोटैरो हैज़ बिन लिंक्ड और नॉट ऑन द एक्सट्रीम राइट आई कैन सी दैट जोटैरो इज रिटर्न ओवर देर आई हैव पुट द कर्स देर जोटैरो नाउ वी कैन सी दैट देर आर सम ऑप्शन एड और एडिट साइटेशन एंड अदर वन इज एडिट और बिब्लियोग्राफी सो दीज बोथ ऑप्शन आर ऑल्सो देयर सो दैट मीन्स आर जोटैरो अकाउंट हैज़ बिन लिंक विद आर एम एस ऑफिस अकाउंट नाव आई विल गो टू दिस क्लिक ऑन द सॉफ्टवेयर अगैन जोटैरो नाव आई विल गेट दीज ऑप्शन आफ्टर ओपनिंग इट नाव आई विल क्लिक ऑन सेटअप सिंकिंग द लास्ट ऑप्शन अ पॉप अप अ विंडो विल अपियर विच विल आस्क फॉर माई यूजर नेम विच आई चोज when i registered in the website which is yogita basnal so doing this helps in syncing like in connecting we can add files pdf files the research papers to the software by doing this now entering the, after entering the password we can click on setup syncing and then we can click on okay so now we can see the the account has been linked that's why they are saying unlink the account because it has already been linked now if we will click on a sync syncing account then the window will pop up again we can see unlink account that means the username is there that means the account has been linked so now we will uh, we will start using the software first of all uh, we will go to the the content which we want to cite so i for now we can see that i have manually written it shake the first citation second one is shrivastava then Hindu Sharma then Habib, so these are manually written, but we have to do it with the help of software. So first of all, we will check the folder basics. So these are the uh, research papers from which I have written the um, material, the content. So first of all, we have to add all these research papers to the Zotero software. So. for that i will create a folder with the same name basics because it will be easier to remember i will cl i clicked on the box then the pop up appeared so i named it as basics then i clicked on okay now the folder has been created now this is the basics folder now i will go to the uh folder where all the research papers are saved i will drag simply drag and drop it over here and it will automatically be added after dragging and dropping it here see we can see shake this uh, paper has been added similarly i can add other research papers also because these are the papers which i want to cite in the book chapter that i have written so now all those which are required i will save one by one the third paper is this one hindu sharma one by one so for now i am only adding four five papers basically all the papers like if you are citing 100 papers with the help of 100 papers then we will have to add 100 papers on to the software so for now 
to make it easier i am only doing it with the help of five papers for now i will only add five papers so one by one you can see we need to simply drag and drop it that's it it will automatically be added to the software now we can see clearly that so many papers have been added we can add as many as papers as we want now i will open the book chapter again this is the main task basically for this thing only we did all that software download and then syncing creating account so now we will put the cursor where we want to add the citation which is before shake now we will go to the zotero uh, and then we will on the extreme left we will find the option add or edit citation we will click on it we will put the cursor then the citation style will appear i will choose american chemical society that means acs now this pop up will appear i will type the name i have saved the research paper with the name shaikh which is the author's name now i will i entered clicked on the entered enter button then the citation has appeared as one if we will see here i have circled it one it has appeared as one now similarly we can uh, put the cursor on next author which is shrivastava if it does not appear we can select it and then again uh, we uh, if we will click on it then we can see that the another citation has been added which is written as two i have encircled it so citation one has been added two has been added similarly the third citation which is indu sharma which i have said with name sharma 2002 we can add the third citation it appears as soon as we click on the enter so this is the author's name i clicked on enter so it has appeared as the third citation so similarly we can go on and add all the citations one by one now if we want to uh, check the references or bibliography for that also we can go to the bottom of the book chapter where we add the references so this is the uh, option so these are references or we can also write it as bibliography these references with the help of uh, the softwares reference management softwares these references get uh, added automatically i will show you just now how they get referenced automatically i'll click on the second button add bibliography or reference so you can see they automatically appeared and i did not do anything manually so that's how we can use this software very well now if we want to change the citation for example uh, we did a wrong citation then we will remove the previous the name shake for example the number one citation was of somebody else like uh, another author hakib habib then we will remove uh, the name of the first author which was entered previously shake we will enter habib so now citation number has been saved with name habib similarly if citation number 2 was not for this author shrivastava it was for author number 1 shake then we will put the cursor over here again we will go to add or edit citation we will backspace delete it and 
we will write the new author earlier it was shivaswa now it will be shaikh so it happens when we do wrong citation then we can edit it easily now after putting the cursor over here we have changed the citation so the citation number 1 is now habib and number 2 is author or author with name shaikh now we'll save the changes and then we will go to the references again now after because we have already saved the changes now we can see the earlier number one citation was for shaikh now it is for habib so that means the uh, references have automatically been saved now we the last thing that we need to learn is how to change the citation style earlier it was american chemical society now for example i want to change the cite citation style i want to do with another general for that what i need to do is i will select another citation style which is elsevier harvard for example i choose this one elsevier harvard so i will simply choose it and click on okay now we can see the style of the citation earlier it was in the form of one two numbers now it is properly written with the author's name with the year name so the new style is van elsevier van cover so this is how we can change the citation style this is the last step last thing in this video tutorial now we can see in the references and bibliography also the changes have already uh, automatically been saved the style has been changed now now if we want to uh, add a citation style of our choice which is not already there in the software we will go to document preferences then we will right if we want to choose apa format fifth edition so this citation style i have added over here so i'll click on okay now the citation style has been added this is the citation style which i want to add it was not already there now we'll search for it apa 7th edition no we did fifth edition so this is the option that i added myself using document preferences now i clicked on it i uh, selected it now you can see the second one if we'll see the citation style has been changed completely so this is how we can change the citation styles thank you for watching